wasn't recording for the last two minutes I was talking before. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be episode 7 of War Game Terrain. And in this episode, we're going to make fuel tanks using simple fake vitamin bottles. Alright, the vitamins are still in there. Now, I mean, I could go into a rant about how health has become so stupid in the past few years that I've been alive, starting with the bottling of water, although I'm sure that happened before I was born. Anyway, regardless, uh, what do I have here? I've got a uh, ginkgo biloba, biloba, memory for healthy circulation, ginseng for energy, and sleep tablets, natural herbal. On the back, some uh, amount for servings. Uh. Oh, and of course, this is my favorite part. These statements, can you read that? You're probably not, right there on the bottom. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. So, you know, they're fake. I mean, and, you know, if anything more, they're not even safety childproof caps. Like, I don't even have to push on them. They're just simple, unscrew, and, you know. So, I mean, honestly... You might as well just start. You're not gonna overdose on them. You'll be fine. You might as well just, you know, eat them all while you can because they're fake vitamins. They're basically just sugar pills. They're not gonna do a damn thing for your health. But they were a buck, and oh, really all I'm interested in are just the containers. What are these? Oh, these are these ones are brown. Look at all those pills. Oh, that's delicious. I just start, start munching on these. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's delicious. It's helped me. It's keeping me healthy. It's giving me energy. Nom nom nom. What's in these ones? I'll see you guys. Come on, stand up, camera. You gotta show everybody I'm overdosing on fake pills. What do we got here? What do we got here? These ones are like. Now, these ones look dangerous. Oh my god. What are some of these? Oh, I got that. They're stupid. They're pointless. But whatever. Like I said, I'm not interested in the bottles and the pills. I'm interested in the bottles. So, yep. So step one is to choke on all the pills and to empty out the bottles and stuff like that. I'll be back in a second once I get rid of all these pills off my desk. All right, so here's my three bottles. This one gave me a little bit of trouble with the label. Let's see. But uh, I'll fix that later. Okay, so uh, here's my most cleanest one. So there's a bottle. Empty. The silver rim has been ripped off for the most part, but it's going to get cut off anyway. Um, this top part, it's got some uh, labeling on it, the recycle number and some other uh, model numbers. It's not too bad, because what I'm thinking is that we take these caps and we place them over like so. And then, like that. So that should be okay. So the next step is to cut off the ends of this. I'm just going to cut up to the, this first line. So everything to the right of where my finger is, is going to go. So right from starting here and onwards, that half inch about. So we'll do that. I'm only going to work on one bottle right now because... Work on the other ones. All right, bye bye. All right, so there we go. Cut off the screw end. We're just left with that, and I'll sit like that. This part, once we get it done, oops, we'll sit up here. Now, I'm gonna have the three of them like this. Once they all get cut down, you can imagine what that'll look like. Okay, maybe spaced out just a little bit more. Something like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have piping running to each one of these. And then I'm going to have them running down, usually probably in like sets of two. I'll have to look at some reference pictures. And eventually 
probably you know some sort of spigot or big pipe something I have no idea I'm not sure what they really look like we'll figure it out eventually but uh so yeah that's what I'm, my ideas are now for piping what I'm gonna use stay camera this stuff all the extra sprue from um, that model that I did okay I've got tons of it so it really will be no problem Whew. so really that's I think that's gonna be it for uh, tonight um, now one thing I have to decide is whether I want to paint it first and then drill it together or whether I want to I, and then you know put in the um, the piping because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm going to drill holes into the sides down the sides and in the tops where the pipes will stick in and then um, yeah, and then glue them there. So I, I don't know whether I should drill them in first, or and then paint them, or paint them and then drill them in first. Um, you got you know, let me know, guys. I might just you know try out one method on this one, and then another method on this one, and then whichever one I like better, I'll try. I'll do on this one. So that's it for now. Um, part two will come, uh, I guess, tomorrow or something. Thanks for watching.